Hmm, guess so. I should speak up. <laughs> Who's there? Gandalf? <laughs> Still, I course a moment to indulge an old man. Elminster? <laughs> the very same, Gale. And a fair bit miffed he is, too. Finding himself forced to expose his best pair of boots to so many miles of country road on your behalf. Uh... Okay, so he knows Gale, so some sort of old ancient wizard man, okay? <laughs> the country road old man. <laughs> Not every day one meets the hero of countless ballads in the flesh. Oh, I know a minstrel by trade when I see one. <laughs> Tell me. Yeah, that's me. What ballad? Bold enough to lift me onto the pedestal of acclaim enjoys your musical predilection. Uh, what, what, wait, what? <laughs> wait, the, okay, there are actual ballads I can choose from? Day the dragon woke in flame, a minster hailed the Worm King's heir. Ten links into the Underdark, the wizard bore the lance of Kryn. Across the peaks of Icewind Dale strode Past the Sage of Shadowdale. Man, he's just got all sorts of titles, doesn't he? Uh, the, the Worm King's Air one sounds cool. Ha! Old but hearty, and rife with witty flourishes. <laughs> Not unlike myself, I confess it to be among my. Well, of course. Yes, yes, be that as it may, you said you came all this way on my behalf, did you not? For what purpose? I was bid to spare neither time nor my own self to find you. She sent me, Gail. You know of whom I speak. Ooh. But why? Out with it, Elminster. Please. Young man, has your sojourn away from Bordity washed away your decorum as well as your patience? Nigh a ten day I've gone without honest fare, worthy of the name, drank naught, but what the sky entitled my thirst. <laughs> Why, some bread, cheese, and a cup of wine would appear unto me a feast. Surely you will begrudge me a mite of rest and repast before I get out with it? Yeah, Gil, where's your decorum? <laughs> oh, full of love. Uh, this way, then. Just making him miserable. <laughs> oh, don't dawdle now, lad. You're the one who's in such a frightful hurry. Oh, nigh on 13 centuries old, and he still thinks with his stomach. The best follow. <laughs> And see if he's more disposed to speak plainly once it's stopped its grumbling. <laughs> Listen, I wouldn't want to talk about business either if I was hungry. Like, come on. I'm curious what he has to say. Wise yeah. choice. Better to indulge your curiosity than Elminster's appetite. Oh, <laughs> it's just like I was mm, just in camp. Yes, <laughs> Which of old as Turin that was doesn't do to parlay on an empty stomach, you know. Makes one's words frivolous when they should be grave. Plenty to digest, after all. A good deal to stew over, if you will. <laughs> words food filled with import <laughs> should be savored so as to better absorb their meaning. Wouldn't you agree? Alminster. <laughs> Right. Um, <laughs> see, I, um, that is to say, Gail, my boy, I've come to address a most pressing matter. I'll speak as plainly as I can, forswearing the accustomed frills that decorate my speech. I'm here on behalf of Mistra. The message... And the charge I bring you are hers. Oh. 
Oh, this is, a uh, serious. Yeah, you sent me here as an actual divine messenger. Oh, Mistra's delicate feet are ill-suited for the hardships of the road. You know where you went wrong, Gale. No, we needn't dwell on that here and now. But even so, you're to be given a chance of redemption. Mistra would consider... forgiveness? She would consider what she considers to be forgiveness. Oh, so aware. not really. The misadventures that have befallen you both. She knows of your strife with the absolute, that most insidious of evils. You wouldn't happen to know of a cure, would you? You know, some old powerful parasite withering spell, perhaps? Alas, the creature that afflicts you, the ill begotten magic that it weaves, is inextricably conjoined with both the greater purpose and the greater master that it serves. Oh, well, that's a bummer. You must know. That the absolute is more dangerous than you can possibly conceive. It threatens all who live, even those who are undying. It threatens the gods, the weave, the very fabric of the universe itself. Uh. That is why I have come <laughs> here to charge you, Gale, with its destruction. It is Mistress' belief that only you can. Uh. Yeah, so, okay. If the Absolute is that dangerous, that it can threaten the gods, I am surprised they haven't tried to get more involved, you know, in, like, helping us destroy it. I mean, Mistra is quote unquote offering stuff now, but it's like at Gale's expense. <laughs> the orb. Precisely. Mistra has granted me the power to stop the clock, as it were, on the orb's rush to overpower you. Instead, you will be able to. Unleash it. Unleash You're turning it into a literal will. walking bomb. This could be help or hindrance. We shall have to see. Uh. <laughs> you must find the heart of the absolute, whatever that may be, and use yourself as the uh, catalyst that will burn it from this world. <laughs> Bruh, Mistra's form of Gale's atonement, his way to for gain her, like, forgiveness, is that she wants him to blow himself up. To kill the Absolute. That is so fucked up. That is so mean. Oh, he's supposed to make him miserable if he explodes, right? Yeah, we can't fuck with Gale if he's dead. Man, Mistra is like the worst. <laughs> like, jeez. I mean, if you like read into like if you talk to Gale a lot, especially if you choose to romance him and like read into some things, and there's like a later NPC you can mate meet in like act three which uh you know i, I know all the spoilers stuff because of the uh, first playthrough on twitter but uh yeah mistra is not a good goddess she's not a good person uh it's kind of hinted a lot when you talk to gail when you're romancing him that it's kind of like a what would you call
call it? Like, abusive, power-hungry relationship. Like, she essentially groomed Gale. Uh, because there's an NPC you can meet that also warns you about how there's a town that, like, will hide any boy children they have that have magical abilities to, like, try to keep them away from Mistra. So, yeah, she's really sketchy. <laughs> And now she's asking Gale to like, basically kill himself. Oh, you want you want my forgiveness for like trying to earn my favor and like be more like at my level as like when they were romantic together. Uh, yeah, kill yourself. <laughs> like, it's so fucked up. Yeah. Yeah. This is this is monstrous! You're tasking him to kill himself! He is not. But it seems that Mistra is. Gail, don't you it do it! Me you better not agree! No pleasure saying this, my friend. But such is Mistra's will. Yours must be the sacrifice that will undo the absolute. And for your sacrifice, you will be redeemed. Such is Mistress promise. With that, I've said my sorry piece. And need only bestow unto thee the charm. What's the point of, like, redemption if you're dead, you know? It is done. Both charge and charm have been committed into your care. To you, I commit into care Gale himself. I count on you to shepherd him well on this strangest of journeys. Uh... Yeah, and on this long ass journey, I hope they find another way to uh, stop the absolute. Cause I don't want Gale to like blow himself up. <laughs> or some other fortune altogether. Right. Uh... Like moons make swell and wane the nescient seas, so too the sky strewn gods ordain the tidal fates of mortal days. And yet. A notion born in lonely hours. Come, ebb, come, flow, come. All that is beyond the breadth of our dominion. Be a moon unto yourself. Even the waves of fate can break upon the shores of will. Farewell, my friend. Farewell, Elminster. I'm glad she chose you. Yeah, great, great. I think the most messed up thing is, like, Gale probably wasn't, like, the first human romantic partner Mr. had, right? So, like, say he does this, like, you know, task for her, kills himself in order to kill the Absolute that's, like, threatening the world and the gods and everything. And say she does forgive him for, you know, the whole absorbing the orb thing or whatever an accident uh i feel like she'd probably just immediately pretty quickly just move on to the next magical prodigy she finds which is like what's <laughs> so fucked up about this whole thing like gail's essentially so brainwashed so like conditioned that mistra like actually loves and cares about him when she probably doesn't which is, like, the sad thing. Yeah, also, yeah, what Elminster said. <laughs> I was just like, what the fuck does this mean? <laughs> Essentially, I got the last line, even the, like... The, what is it? The tides of fate can break against the shores of ill. Essentially, you know, if we try hard enough, we can go against our fate. So go against Gale having to blow himself up, hopefully. As the gods, as Mistress seems to deem his fate. 
An audience with Elminster is never less than memorable. I'd have hoped to introduce you to him in less dire circumstances. But those are hard to come by these days. Don't have the creepy for cheese. Hardly the great wizard of legend. Hey! <laughs> What's wrong with liking cheese? You yeah, didn't see much of friend showing up and demanding you kill yourself. Right, yeah. Kinda, kinda messed up. It's not a demand he wanted to make of me. As mistress chosen, he had no choice but to deliver her message. However much it pained him to do so. For Mistra to have sent him. The severity of her bidding could not be clearer. Or weigh more heavily on me. Time seems so infinite when you're young. A month is an age. A year is a lifetime. It is a strange feeling. To realize how little of it one might have left. Oh, well, this is all depressing now. You're not seriously considering what he said, though. Of course. Like, yo, come on. We offer the clearest solution to our problem. All I have to do is find the right place and time, close my eyes, and let go. Go. And the slate will be clean. Wrongs will be righted. The absolute will be gone. And I along with it. Kill! How can you say that so nonchalantly? There's gotta be another way. If there was, I'm sure the goddess of magic and the greatest wizard who ever lived would have identified it. But alas, only one solution is offered. That remains ahead of us for now. Heart of the Absolute must be discovered before I can stop its beating. I like how she's like, he sure, surely she would have found another way. No, she probably wouldn't if she has, like, an easy, quick solution in front of her, which is Gale. There probably is another way. She's just being fucking lazy. <laughs> uh, you're not blowing yourself up, Gale. I won't let Let's you. Let's save such certainty for the moment such a decision is upon us. You may feel differently once we know what we're truly up against. I, I can't. Gail, you need to get out of your relationship with Mr. Ella. Like, please, see all the red warning flags. Do not blow yourself up for this goddess. 